Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And um, this is a general message. I'm just going to see what's going on. I'm going to see what's going on with you. And you're going to see what's going on behind your back. Okay? Okay. So before I get into all the juicy stuff, not talk about myself or anything, but you know what I got to do. Like my Palo Santo. God, come to your prayers that you give me all of the insight for the collective. We need to know what's going on. We don't want no secrets. We don't want nothing hidden. We want everything to be laid out in front of us. Also, ask for any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw me off. I ask that you send them back to hell, crawling on their knees. Amen. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right. First, we got to clarify. I'm tapping into the collective. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? I feel like this is not the time to be giving yourself out loosely. I feel like you need to be more cautious with who you sleep with. For some of you all, I feel like you just need to be celibate because I really feel like your dating options aren't even worth a nut. <sighs> what does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? I feel like some of you all we're talking to or getting to know a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel like this person switched up. It's because I feel like somebody from their past ended up coming back. You may be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or they may be as well. But I really just, like I said, just somebody from their past came back and they started to switch up on you. This person may be bisexual or, you know, lesbian or something of that sort. But either way, I really feel like. When this person came back around, of course, this person is in your person at the time they got sexual and they started to switch up on you because they truly thought that they found happiness. They also could have been a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, but they're going to realize that they made the wrong choice and they're going to try to come back confessing their feelings for you. And that's what I really feel like that text message is going to be about how they want to try again with you talk to you talk it out with you work it out with you but i really feel like this person switched up on you because their old person came back and you know they didn't tell you so you just you just sitting around wondering what happened that's what happened the old person came back i don't even want to know a truth from this person who cares Something's coming in very soon, though. Let's see. Current love for the collective. Current love. Current love for the collective. Current love for the collective. Current love. Current love. Current love. Single, I see. Current love. Current love for the collective. Current love. Mm -hmm. It's giving very much single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like very soon a past life relationship is going to come back in. This could be an ex. Or this can be somebody completely new, but you know, you've known them in a past life. Right now, you're single. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Single and healing. I don't blame you. Not after dealing with somebody who just switched up out the blue. I'll be single too right now. Let's get new love. New love for the collective. New love for the collective. New love. New love. Mm -hmm. New love. New love. New love. Mm. 
Okay, so I got two stories. So, new love, when that comes around, I feel like you all are going to be very happy with one another. This is going to be very clingy, a very clingy relationship. This is going to be a relationship where I feel like if there will be needing, there will be some type of needing of healing and getting to know the root of each other's like trauma so that y'all can actually have a healthy relationship. I feel like you all are going to end up, you know, vacationing a lot. I feel like you all may, this has the potential of ending in marriage. But I also get that for some of you all, you're going to realize that you don't want somebody who is very clingy or needy. You don't want somebody who may need to need you in some type of way. Um, I also feel like you may end up leaving this person alone because they have a lot of trauma that they haven't healed and they are the type of person to to project. Yeah. Yeah, project onto you and don't even know you. But this will be a past life relationship. And there will be a lot of romantic feelings. Yes, it's going. It's, 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 this could be your soulmate. This is going to be new love that comes into your life. But for some of you all, you're gonna understand. You're gonna just pass on it. You're gonna pass on it, even if you're very attracted to that person, because they're gonna be very attractive. I don't blame you. I say go for follow your heart. If your heart is telling you this ain't it, then it ain't it. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice. I'm seeing guys saying make better choices when it comes to your life, career, and your love, and in your whole, just basically your whole life. Because you're running into a bunch of toxicity, a bunch of people who only want one thing from you, a bunch of people who truly don't have anything to offer you. People who plot on you, people who have ill intentions. But just choose better paths because if you don't, you're going to continue to get people who sell you a dream. Like I said, remain hardworking because your hard work is going to lead you to the top. Also, check out your friend group because a lot of people are jealous of you and you don't even know it. They're jealous of the fact that you are a leader, a natural born leader. And God is gifting you a lot of gifts at this time, a lot of blessings. And it's because you continue to strive. You continue to strive for a better life, a better you. You don't just sit there and complain. You actually get up and go do it. So for that, God is blessing you. Let's give you some messages. Oh, what does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? Mm. God is going to sing you in somebody muscular, male or female, but, or you could be currently dealing with somebody who is muscular. This is somebody who wants to invest in your dreams. They also may be tall or taller than you. You make this person very weak. They are obsessed and addicted to you. Mm. Mm. But I feel like the person that they were currently dealing with before you, or they may be dealing with on the side. This person lacks luster, not a star in their door. They're boring. This person, honestly, I feel like this person who is obsessed with you is a fake, is a manipulator. They they show fake smiles and a fake personality, but they do love you. They do have genuine feelings towards you. It's just this person is already involved, like they're a cheater. Either way, they're a cheater. And they live with that person that they're with that is boring. That is not you. Mm -hmm. And for some of you all, this person that is claiming to be a provider isn't really a provider. They're really a breadcrumber, a time waster. They know exactly what to say 
to let you go, to make you let your guard down just so they can play in your face. This was supposed to be a very beautiful connection, a power couple connection, but I also feel like God is still going to bring it into your life. This person is being seen for who they truly are, which is a narcissist, a manipulator. God is telling you to learn this lesson so that you don't repeat the same cycle. This was a test. This person was a test. And don't worry about nobody at this time, okay? You need to be worried about yourself. You need to be worried about manifesting in you new love with some more money. Because you're a high-value woman and a high-value man, and that's what you deserve. Mm -hmm. Because this person who was all in your face trying to date you is staying with somebody. They already have something. <laughs> and when it comes to your friend group or even work friends, if they truly have hidden animosity, they don't really like you. They're fake. But God is going to send somebody in your life Who's actually going to make you happy? Who's actually going to sweep you off your feet? Meanwhile, people from your past still want your attention. But God is going to send in the right person for you in the right time. Not when you want it, at the right time. So I really feel like your message is You ain't found love yet. This is this test. People who come into your life to see if you are still gullible, weak, or dumb. But I feel like God is going to send you in somebody at the right time. So right now, focus on yourself. Build yourself up. Get you, get you, some, get you some more money coming in. And just love yourself for now. Because right now, the people that you are attracting... Love they self more than they could ever truly love you. So, yeah. Let's get you some angel messages. Angel messages for the collective. Angel messages. Angel messages for the collective. Mm -hmm. Like I said, all right, let's stop. Okay, you have good luck, good fortune, and prosperity on your side. Like I said, worry about you right now. Where am I getting you a bigger bag? Because honestly, the data pool is full of leeches. And God is telling you that he's about to bring in a bunch of prosperity and success into your life. He wants you to know that your prayers are being answered. So thank God. Thank you, God. Know that the emotional turmoil that you're currently going through will not last for long. He just wants you to continue as well as to start using your intuition. So that way you can save yourself from a bunch of heartbreak and a bunch of losses just by listening to yourself. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching me this morning. And I hope you have a great Wednesday. Um, I want to thank everybody who does support me as well as appreciate me. I love y'all so much and I appreciate y'all to the moon and back. I want to thank everybody who does send cash app donations. Thank y'all, boo. Y'all know I love some money. It goes to me as well as my channel. So I thank you. As well as super thanks. You don't got to bless me, but you do. And for that, I always pray for you. Thank you. As well as the people who boo me for personal readings. Y'all already know. I be in y'all business. But duh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.